while I'm waiting to get the bike registered, I've got it on the on the sides on the center stand, and I need I need the side stand to be lengthened by about that much. So I have on the bench here the no good one and the good one. So I will. What I plan to do is cut this one. What is it? Cut this one up here somewhere and cut this one down here somewhere so that I put them like this and uh, it should be about right. I'll make one out of the two. Also, I was given a, uh, a CT110 toolkit which is, which is nice, it's brand new. It's still in the wrapper. And uh, I haven't pulled it apart yet but apparently a bit of a prick to put in. But there's no there's no room for a spark plug, so what I've done Oops, trying to focus What I've done is I've just got a spark plug Put a bit of shrink wrap on both ends to protect it And cable tied it in there, so I, At least, you know, I have a spare spark plug with me Which is, I guess for my two-stroke days It never hurts to have a spare spark plug with you That's the only place, I've cable tied it on there It's the only place I could think to put the thing I just don't know where else it goes. There's no no bolt holes that I can find. to do some welding it has been a while over a year I guess and it amazes me how I like welding yet I'm just so bad at it <laughs> oh well here we go Holy shit. side it's got a little bit of a lean on it I think I think that's acceptable looks a bit long but uh, I don't think that'll do the job. I just that little foot down there. I'll, where's my finger? I'll just tap that down to make that sit flat. But uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a lean on it, but nothing too much. I think that'll do the job. Right, there's plenty about you out there that know how to weld would call this what it is, but uh, for me, that's, that's good enough. And the foot's just about to fall off. So I need to run a bit of weld down there, but not let it stick out too high. So a few touch up things and this little baby's good to go. This is the final product, and I, I got some fancy ideas where you weren't looking, or really shouldn't have. But anyway, that, that's okay. That gives me the, the angle I want, so that goes up and just just a little bit shy of the chain guard. So that's that's nice. Yeah, that's that weld. It's just, what can I do? Now, because the foot was so thin and breaking off, I welded along here, which is sort of semi-successful. And I thought, oh well, you know, that's kind of thin through there. I'll put a bit of weld on top there just to give it a bit of, you know, a bit of resistance to breaking and then it just sort of melted through. But, uh, you know, I ran out of welding rods. I'm not going to get any more straight away. So, a bit of penetrol on that. And who would know that I've been had a go at it? You know, it looks perfectly fine. Well, that's what it looks like on. 
a little bit longer than those to presume. But it worked. After much deliberation, I finally decided where I'm going to put that NOS bottle, and I'm going to put it in that corner of the of the uh, milk crate because, uh, as usual, you know, you hop on the bike from that side, from that side, and uh, for that reason, I can always check it, you know, check the gauge, what pressure's like, is it on or off, you know, is it secure? So that's what it looked like. That's what it looked like from behind. And logbook. This thing is now a genuine vintage registered motorcycle. I haven't had it out yet. I haven't had a chance to get on my first run, but it's there, it's ready. Um, the fact that it's slightly different doesn't really matter with a vintage motorbike. It's still totally road legal. Everything works. Everything's in the right place. Everything's safe. Um, and I just got a few little upgrades, and that happens, you know, vintage bikes, you know what's like. Okay, we're up to the next little bit. Just a little feature I've added. I've got the traditional flag, the posty flag, so that's good. The nice bottle with NOS bottles in the back there. Now, when I first started putting this bike together and I got the front wheel, I read what size tire it was, and it's a, a 375. Sorry, 275 by 17, and that one over there is a, that cub, is a 250 by 17. And I thought, yeah, but it looks skinny, you know? It doesn't inspire confidence. This is a city tire, and as a, it's kind of hard, but look, there's room. There's room in there, so I've always, Forever I've looked at it and I thought it doesn't it looks too skinny. I remember the old V rubber sort of being a bit wider. It's a skinny little thing. So <clears throat> been having a look around and I found this. Now this is a little bit wider. This is a uh, a Michelin um, anarchy and anarchy's that beamer come out with anarchies. Anarchies are, are soft. And they've got a bit of a tread pattern in it. Even though it says street, that can go off-road. Mm, not so good off-road with that one. And I have a track worked out. It's up the back of Collinsvale through Mo Molesworth. And my testing track will be bitumen and dirt. This thing will skid around. That'll grip. So it's more in line with, with like what the posties do have but just a very much more modern version but still has that sort of off-road capability so hopefully I can fit a, a 300 in there I'm not going to show you my taking a tire off skills because I don't have any putting a hole in the inner tube is about a 50% chance so I'll change them over and see which I'll take pictures and we'll show do before and after shots well, I'm sweating. Where is that camera? I'm sweating like a pig. Just trying to get that tire bloody off. I, I'm not good at this stuff. <laughs> well, it's not a good sign. It was as quick as I pumped that air in there. It's leaking out everywhere. I put a hole in it. Look at that. It's leaked so I can feel all around the place. <sighs> I found the holes and uh, my technique leaves a little bit to be desired. There's two there. You could be tempted to repair those, but uh, not those three. Um, so, a brand new inner tube from a brand new inner tube. I'll go and pick one up tomorrow. I put a brand new tube in it and this time I just took my time. I wasn't under time pressure like yesterday. And so far it seems to be holding air. I can only put it on and see what it looks like tomorrow. Well that's got it on and that in my mind looks so much better. It's fatter. Not only fatter that way but it's a higher profile. Look at the, compare the back wheel which is the wheels I had on it. That is so much looking in keeping with what, in my mind, what that bike should look like. So I'll change the back one over as well. 
and uh, changing from that to that I've got a friend who will take that I think so it's expensive but um, I think it just it makes the look of the bike it's more in keeping with what I believe uh, a post you should do and, and the tread pattern that I'll use I'm good to go now the tires seem to be holding air one last thing I bought a this is like not a GoPro but an aftermarket type GoPro and uh, just got to figure out how I'm going to use it and maybe a uh, walking stick hanging out the side I'll get some kind of a purchase because eventually we want to see the blower running and all that sort of stuff so so that you can come on my adventures with me while I'm tuning the bike and just seeing how it goes because getting this thing tuned is going to be a deal I'm just about ready to take the bike up and I've set the camera up on the walking stick so I can adjust how far it goes out and the angle and just tighten it all off but I'll, I'll give you a view of what of what you'll see now this is just an early trial so I might change I've ordered a thing to put on my chin on my helmet but it's not here yet so I might have to put up with this for now and that will I'll make a view something like that from that mirror to over there the cam camera's slightly angled that way so that should give you that sort of a view. So that's that's my starting point. So now I'll have to start getting ready to uh, take the little bike for a ride. The NOS is waiting very patiently. <laughs> it's talking to me. It's saying my day will come. So. 